My name is Casey McLaughlin. And my name is Major Shannon McLaughlin. We met about 15 years ago now. We met um, 15 years ago when um, I was giving a talk at a college that uh, Casey was at. I was in law school at the time. As soon as I saw her, I knew I wanted to meet her. And so I uh, pursued her to look <laughs> over my resume and give me some feedback as to whether or not I was on the right track. Of course, we did this over dinner. We dated for a few months, and then we went our separate ways mm -hmm. for nearly 10 years. And then finally, I found her on Facebook. <laughs> And at that point, we um, reconnected and... Uh, we knew right away. We did. There was no question. And um, we both knew that we wanted to have a family. And uh, we made quick work of that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we were married a year later and then had uh, Grace and Grant, our twins, a year after that. So this photo right here is uh, actually my... This is my daughter Grace and I, and this is my first day uh, going back to work after they were born. And you took that, right? I did. And it was one of my favorite pictures because it was like her first smile. So it's really neat. I like that one a lot. And this is just, I just love this picture of them. They're just so bright eyed and smiling and full of life. And they're really, really wonderful kids. Doma presented itself as a huge problem. Once I went on maternity leave and once the children were born, decided to stay at home. I lost my health insurance because I was no longer working and I had assumed, perhaps naively, that we as a family would all go under Shannon's health care plan. But I was excluded from being a part of the family plan because I was Although legally her spouse, I was a woman. The military spouse is the person who holds together the family, holds together that military family and allows a military member to go out there, do whatever missions or training is necessary. I am as much a military wife as anybody else who is in the military. And I want to be recognized and I want our kids to understand that they are the same as well. We're involved in a, a big lawsuit where we're trying to make it possible for other families just like us to be able to have an equal experience um, and to be seen in the eyes of society as equals. The opportunity uh, came up for us to uh, put our name on the lawsuit and be part of it with these other couples. It wasn't an easy decision to make to, for me anyway, to sue my employer. An employer that I really loved and had done great things for me and I, I, I really admired. But I knew that there were, for every couple in the lawsuit, there were hundreds if not thousands of other couples that couldn't speak up. A post-DOMA world in the military, for me, it's going to sound very simple is I'm able, to, I'm able to take my wife to military family events and know that she's respected. And she's not singled out as not being as good as every other military wife or husband that's there. 